In this video we're looking at concave and convex mirrors. First of all, the convex mirror, which is curved outwards. The, uh, this is our non-reflective side, um, as shown by the, um, the little lines that we've drawn there. Non-reflective. Okay, so uh, we're going to consider some light rays, parallel light rays coming into this parallel to each other um, and I haven't drawn them so great but they're essentially parallel and how they're going to reflect if we consider a single uh, tangent to the surface it will obey the equal angle law at that point so it's going to bend outwards or bend it's not really bending it's reflecting outwards with the same at that single point angle um, that, that came in on where the light ray appears to come from is what we call the focal point. In this case this is a virtual focal point. It's virtual because there are no real light rays which is why we draw those dotted lines. So the center that uh, is going straight in that appears to be coming, uh, it'll go straight back out on exactly the same line. Okay so that one uh, is a nice one and this one uh, will reflect outwards as though it comes from that Okay, so how would an image appear, just in general? Um, because it's, the light rays are spreading out, they would appear to come from a particular point behind here. So you're always going to see a, uh, an image um, that's smaller or diminished um, than the real thing. And this is where we would see things like security, um, security mirrors that you see in the supermarket up in the corner somewhere so you can see all between all the shelves and all the aisles with all the food because it takes light in from everywhere and because in the same way it works in reverse to we've talked about parallel light rays here um, spreading out all light rays that are going in on these different angles will also converge um, and reflect parallel so light rays going one way will also go the other way. So they can reflect parallel and they can be seen by an observer over here. Um, so in your little shop uh, you can see in between all of the aisles very easily all those light rays will reflect to a single location. Okay, so the other one that we want to consider is our that's, that's our uh, convex mirror. So let me better write that, a convex and our concave mirror looks like a cave, okay, and the non-reflective side is, see on that, see they're both curved the same, um, but yeah, oh, another interesting point, the focal point is half of the radius of curvature, um, so it's the same with the, um, with the con concave mirror, so the radius of curvature um, divided by 2 gives you the focal length. Okay, I'm not sure exactly why that is, but I'm sure there's geometric reasons and and so forth. Um, yeah, so for a concave mirror, um, if we take our parallel light rays coming in, okay, I've drawn them going out, but we'll put the arrows coming in. They're going to this time reflect inwards. Okay, got to keep those arrows on them, and they'll all go through the focal point. And this time this is a real uh, focal point because the light rays really do pass through there. So remember these were parallel light rays. And this is a great use for telescopes where you might be looking at stars which are really far away and because they are far away any light coming in has to strike parallel. So far light source um, leads to parallel light rays coming in and if you're looking at stars you um, from the night sky you can then have a little um, a, a screen or even a mirror to reflect um, the light into your eye at the focal point and it'll take all of those um, distant uh, light rays and focus them at a point for you to see okay there's actually one little trip up uh, circumstance with this and uh, that is if you have an object in the middle here and you try and look at it from way back here 
you're going to see something interesting. If you have an object right at the focal point, then same as we had with the convex mirror, the light rays will travel outward and then reflect parallel. So uh, that's useful for cars with the headlamps. You can put lamps right in the focal point and face them towards the mirror. So the light that's shining out will reflect parallel and you can direct your beam um, out of the eyes of oncoming traffic and towards um, the a little bit lower perhaps towards the road and surrounding. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, if you put the object inside the focal point, um, you're going to see something really funny. Um, it's it's uh, yeah. I won't tell you because it's going to come up in the in the ray diagrams. But you could try this yourself. You can um, grab a spoon. You don't even have to be right back here to see them. You can be anywhere. But you can grab a teaspoon, um, and you can uh, look into it with because uh, the focal length will be quite close so you might have to put like a coin down on your desk and bring your spoon close so it's inside there and then see what you see and uh, you can report back if you like but it should be quite interesting and the, what you will see will be explained by the ray diagrams that we cover in the next video